Hey guys, so in the last video where I told you that there are no rules to art, that you can do whatever you want, I, I lied. When your teachers and parents and friends, when you were little, told you that there are no rules in art, that you can do anything you want, they all lied to you too. I'm not the only one. I, there are rules in art and you do need to learn techniques and boundaries and craftsmanship and how to do things well. Art is problem solving. You see something that doesn't work and you fix it. It's about putting things together. It's about learning uh, techniques and skills and understanding the way that things look, understanding the way that you see things, understanding the world around you and then applying that to something and putting it down, whether it's paper or video or whatever medium you use, there are rules and there are guidelines. There absolutely is bad art. There are There is artwork that is, is not good. There is artwork that's low quality. There's artwork that is uh, poorly done. There are artists or people who don't really know what they're doing. And there's bad graphic design absolutely everywhere. You can see it all the time. There are poor compositions. There is work that is overcrowded and isn't pleasing to look at. It isn't enjoyable. And you wouldn't want it in your house. Not because it's not your style, but because it's just bad. There are rules, and in order to successfully break those rules, you need to learn the rules in the first place. There are rules of composition, there are lots of terms that are important to know, and if you don't learn those terms, it's going to be hard to break the rules. It's also going to be hard to have artwork that works. Some people are naturally talented with it. I have come to see that there are a lot more artists, and good art comes from practice and doing it and learning it and looking at lots of other great artists, not so much natural talent. I think when people say that, oh, you're so good at art, you're so talented, it's like, no, I've spent 27 years learning how to make art. I've spent time and money and energy learning how to do this. I've spent time practicing every single day for extended periods of time. It's not just a magical gift of talent that's been dropped in my lap. It's talent and work and dedication that gets you to be an artist. Well, there's an art gallery that I volunteer at and a woman was not triggered into the gallery and she was very angry about this. She was mad. She's like, my art is good. She wouldn't take criticism, wouldn't do anything. And there were just a few little things that every single person that juried her work said that like it felt crowded. It wasn't aesthetically pleasing. And she's like, but art can be anything and art can't just be anything. Whoever told you that lied. Plain and simple. This video is a little bit more harsh than my other ones are. But uh, if you like it, be sure to subscribe and go watch the first video and also the next video that's coming will kind of tie these two things together, these two ideas together. I make videos every week and art, travel, culture, mixing of those things. So be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys around.